Hey, what's going on guys? Motonocity here. Welcome back to the Honda Grom build series. If you're new, we are building a 300cc swapped Honda Grom. I got my man Fry here and uh, we have been waiting to get back on this. Um, as you guys know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Parts have been delayed. It's been uh, hard sourcing stuff. A lot of the stuff that we're getting has just been taking a while, but we finally got the pieces that we need to continue the build. Today we're gonna be doing, um, this thing is gonna really start looking like a bike because we're gonna be putting the new, brand new aluminum steering stem in here. It's gonna shed a lot of weight because the stock one, like this is just the bottom portion of it. It is, um, like this is this is solid steel and it's heavy. We've got a new, brand new aluminum piece uh, that I picked up from Steady Garage. And that is gonna be going on here along with the new fork setup and the rear shock. Here's what the setup that we have right now. Of course, we got the frame extension and the lowering link on here. And we're gonna be able to put the, uh, the shock in and the lowered forks. So I shipped out my stock forks to Steady Garage and they actually did the modification that's both gonna lower the shocks and give them, or lower the forks and give them a lot better feel. Uh, they have a kit, it's a Racing Bros kit. It basically allows you to have a shorter fork um, that has a lot better internals. The reason I sent, I sent my stock forks is because they actually use some pieces from the stock forks for the rebuild process. Um, but I'm really excited, it's gonna be really nice. If you didn't know, we are giving away this Honda Grom at the end of the series. If you wanna support over on Patreon, every dollar supported gets you an entry into winning this bike. So you guys can choose your level, you get a lot of other perks with it as well. Join in on the, uh, the Discord server where we do a lot of the discussion about what we're gonna be doing on the bike, choosing colors, things like that. So yeah, make sure you head over there. The link will be the top link in the description so you guys can check it out. But let's go ahead and open up this box. I have not opened it at all, so I don't know what we're looking at. And uh, we'll get to it. What's in the box? What's in the box? In the box. Yeah, so Racing Bros is the, the company that makes the shock and the, uh, the fork kit. And good hats. Go buy a hat from them. Steady cool. Garage did the uh, did the fork re rebuild for me. Also, spoiler for the uh, the future. This is we're doing an AF1 ECU, so we're not going to be using the the factory one. So this is going to give us a lot more flexibility with tuning. Ooh. Here is the new bearing kit for the steering stem. This feels like a fork. Here is the new steering stem assembly, and here I assume is the. Uh, the new rear shot. What's in that? Is it just tubes? Oh, this is the other fork. Oh, almost threw another fork <laughs> away. Make sure you have your filter and your shot vac before you start vacuuming, because I didn't. I was vacuuming, and I was just shooting <laughs> everything out through the exhaust vent. It's clean right here. Yeah, it's clean. But for some reason... No, I just blew all the trash over there. If you guys want to see all the videos that we've put out on the build so far, I'll have the playlist link to the entire build series down in the description so you guys can get caught up. Or if you're watching this in the future, you guys can easily find all the videos that come out after this episode. If you're watching this in the future, what's the future like? Is it better than 2020? Tell me which stocks to buy and if I should look out for alien cows or something. Alien cows? Yes. You don't know. That sandstorm could have brought the mummy as well. Alien cows sound amazing, actually. I'll have all these parts that we're putting on today listed in the description so you guys can know what we're putting on. All, all the parts that we put on in each episode are linked in the description so you guys can check them out. So first up is gonna be this steering stem. Uh, like I showed you guys, we have this uh, bearing kit. That should be pretty nice because um, the stock one was you know, sitting around. It's old and cheap and crappy, so. Let's see how the actual kit looks. I'm pretty stoked for this. So like I said, it's it's all aluminum, so it's light. Now, when a product says on the box in big red letters, please read the instructions before use. You know what we're gonna do? Oh. Probably not read the instructions and then realize that we should have about a half an hour in after we did it wrong. Here, front fork lowering kit. So that's what uh, Steady Garage actually did for me. This is um, a splitter for the, the uh, AF1. ECU, Racing Bros sticker pack. The steering stem comes in either, uh, I think, raw aluminum or black. So Ooh. I got the black. <laughs> Dude, this looks so nice. Oh, wow. Look at this. Where's that? We'll uh, unclip all this stuff here. Dude, this looks so good. It's anodized black, so it should match the, uh, the satin black finish that I did on the engine really, really nicely. On top of that, 
then we'll still have our, our new bars, race bars that we're gonna be putting on. But uh, first up is gonna be getting the steering stem and then putting the new lowered forks in here and just seeing how the bike sits and then we'll move on to the rear shock. All right, looks like I'm gonna be building the bike on my own. Fry has been tasked with playing basketball with Aileen. It was requested. Oh yeah, it was requested. Dang, she got some mad skills. Oh, oh did that hit you in the head? Oh no, where did the ball go? What are you doing? It's in the garden. It's in the garden? Yeah. Oh, why don't you grab it? Uh -oh. Assist. Oh, yeah, he made it. Teamwork. Right here. Oh, oh, oh my you made it. Can I see these two? Yep. Well, I'm done. Oh. oh. Before we get started, if you wanted to just skip this entire step and you wanted to Grom the 300cc motor, do what this one guy did. He took a CBR 300 and put a Grom wheel on the back of it. Oh my gosh. And he's local to Austin, so if you're on here, <laughs> let me know. All right, so here is uh, the steering stem. Lower part of the triple tree. This is gonna mount here, and then it's got this bracket here where the uh, the ignition is gonna mount to. And then here is the, uh, the bearing kit. So we've got the uh, seals, we've got the spacer washer pieces, and then we have bearings. All right, so as expected, we're running into some obstacles. So here we have the new steering stem. This doesn't have any of the bearings, any of the races, anything installed on here for actual install. So here is my stock steering stem. And as you can see, it's got this little seal and the race from the factory bearing. We don't have to use that because that's why I bought the new bearing kit, but it's a little bit different. It's a taller assembly than the stock ones. Here is the uh, the new bearing kit. And as you can see, it's got these long rollers. Supposed to, if you can see it in here, these are the the factory bearings. They're just the ball, the ball bearings. So it's a lot taller. But what you have to do is remove the races from in the frame where the actual steering stem will go through. You have the race on the top and you have the race on the bottom. Those are for the factory ones. So they have to be removed and you have to press the new ones in there. Problem is the bearing kit doesn't have instructions. Um, it has very basic instructions for determining whether you need a washer or not. The Actual bearings and races are not labeled either. They have ever so slightly different sizes. Like if you were just holding them, you would not be able to tell that they are different. I actually had to measure them. The diameter of one of them was like one millimeter different from the other one. Uh, and we had to measure that to find out. Um, we think that the bigger one goes on the bottom because that's where you actually have the larger part of the steering stem. But in the meantime, we're gonna move to the rear shock. So here we go. <gasps> what? I'm shocked. Oh, oh it's my pretty. goodness. Yeah, so it comes in this pretty neato green color. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go with it or get the shock painted. Just to, just to compare. Uh, we're gonna get the uh, the old shock out. Let's find it in the Lego box. Here's the stock so shock cute. that I took off. So here is the new one, which looks a thousand times better. Put it up next to the- The difference same, is shocking. Same length, but you have tons of adjustability. This is soft. I can almost compress that by hand. Oh boy. Uh huh. All right, so while this is upright and I would prefer to have it like this, just so that this was like actually tucked in more, we're gonna have to reverse it because because this is so wide, it bumps up against the uh, the lowering link. So if we, if we flip it around, we should be able to, yeah. Yeah. So that amount. Nice. There we go. Hey, that actually made a big difference. Dude, that looks really good. Yeah. Dude, that 
That looks really good. I want to ride it. You want to ride it? I want to ride it. I know, I do too. It looks so much more like a bike having a shock. <laughs> All right, so we had to push things back a little bit several days later, but we got help from Steady to Garage and they gave us input on exactly how this is all supposed to go together. The order, as well as what needs to be taken out, what needs to be reused. So since we are using this new triple tree, we do not uh, need to use anything from the original steering stem assembly. We're just using the new bearing kit that we got, um, which includes this lower one, the top one and a couple washers and uh, we'll be removing the upper and lower original race from the frame. So in the package of the uh, new bearing kit, there's two washers. The thinner one is gonna go on first onto the steering stem and then next is uh, these have little um, IDs on them, little numbers. The one with the larger one, the larger number, goes on the bottom, and then the one with the smaller number is gonna be the upper race and bearing. You, know, you just save someone a ton of time. I know. This one person is like, oh shoot, I don't know which one goes where. Dang, that's a big race. Oh, oh man! You didn't catch it. <laughs> oh, those are pretty thick. Yeah. Well, what is that, like a quarter inch taller? Mm, maybe. That was surprisingly easy. Yeah, it was. I told you it would be. We're trying uh, to use our brains here. No, that's not moving yet. That's, that'll teach us to use our brains. It worked so well the first time, huh? Why don't we try something new? I caught it. Woo! Good job. Oh, the sparkling. For the viewers, because someone's gonna notice. There we go. All clean. Right. Yeah. Just Grease things up again. Greasing up these holes. Guess what time it is? Hammer time! Yeah. All right, so we got this tip from a from a video from a guy installing new bearings. He looked like he knew what he was doing. Dude! Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Is that all the way in? Oh, yeah. I guess it just sits high? I guess so. Okay, so we froze the, the races, probably just for like 15 minutes, right? You saw it happen, just slip right in the first hit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the bottom one is gonna be harder. Never realize how out of shape you are until you turn to kneel on the ground for a little while. Uh, I think that's just being old. All right, this will be interesting because so the much. grease will hold that together. Oh, yeah. When All right, get so in the right spot. we saw this tip from that other video that we watched and uh, what he did was use the original race to tap the new one in more. Yeah, it feels like it's all the way in. You know, we should be able to just tap this right back out. Boom. Perfect. That yeah, looks good all the way around. Yeah, we're professional. Now that we've got the, the races in, next up is to just get the lower bearing and seal onto the steering stem. And then we can push the steering stem up through the frame and then do the assembly on the top. We're gonna put, go ahead and throw the steering stem, the lower assembly into the freezer. We got nothing to lose, so we figure might as well do it um, because the bearing going down onto the steering stem is uh, pretty tight and we figure, you know, why not? And while we freeze that for 10, 15 minutes, we'll go ahead and grease the new bearings. So those are all good to go. And then we'll pull the steering stem out of the freezer and hopefully everything will go together really easily.
Yeah. That's a lot of turns. Hand tight's fine, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we just need hand tight. So. Dude, that looks good. Oh. That looks so nice. It matches the uh, the engine perfectly. Perfect, dude. Yeah, that looks good. I I think, um, I think there's like only two things left we gotta do right now. Grab yourself a fork. All right, so we have like ever so slight of a gap right here. Yeah. The hole for the steering lock is not aligning. So we're gonna remove that top washer. The the instructions for this, and again, these, these bearing kits are not, they're somewhat universal. It's not specific for this exact bike. It's for a bunch of different bikes. That top washer, based on the instructions that it has, I, it says that we're supposed to use it, but I think if we take out that top thick washer, it's gonna bring down this spanner nut right here and have a better uh, coverage for this, as well as making it so that this, um, this lock here might actually align. Yeah, I think these are more specific to the stock uh, steering components, not yeah. quite this one. So they probably give you that spacer for stock and you don't have to use it because we're not stock. I'm not sure that it's, uh, that's gonna make it line up perfectly because the race still rises up a little bit higher than the top of the, the hole for the steering stem, but it should get it closer. Uh, I'm gonna do something I don't always do. I'm gonna agree with you. Although I feel like this fits better. Without the washer. Without the washer. It definitely fits better. Option one, both of them have the same thing. We use that washer because then you have more contact on that bearing because it doesn't have those ridges. Then this whole thing will be a little bit taller, which isn't the end of the world because we can put some spacers in here and space this out. Between so that like, bracket. Between the bracket, because then this will sit flush for one. So you have room there where it won't look weird. I just took out the uh, the ignition from the, the top of the stock triple tree. Uh, which is pretty easy. It's just held in by two screws into the stock bracket. And since we don't need the stock bracket, we don't have to drill out the little pins that hold this bracket to the triple tree. Put it on the new triple tree, except the uh, new bracket that comes on this kit, the holes for the screws are not countersunk like the, uh, the ones are on the stock bracket. When you put the top of the triple tree on here, it bumps into the little uh, hole right here when you turn the bars. That's one thing. And then as Fry said, we can put a spacer in between this bracket and the upper part of the assembly to essentially lower where that pin comes out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just move forward for now. We're gonna leave it as is. We can go ahead and put the forks in now, but I wanna know from you guys if any of you, if, if any of you have an idea on how this is uh, supposed to be. Like I, like I mentioned, right now we don't have that thick washer on at the top, um, and this uh, top spanner nut fits a little bit better over the frame now. It's still not ideally where it should be. It still should be a little bit lower and actually cover the top, but it's just not gonna get there with how tall the race is. Yeah, I don't know what the best option is here. Uh, for now, we're just gonna leave it as is and we can come back to it later. We're not gonna fully tighten everything down up here, um, but we can get the forks in and we can still take the top off later, uh, but we just wanna keep mo moving forward. That's a dinner fork, son. Dude, that looks nice. Dude, yes. This looks so good. Those look good. These have the Racing Bros um, lowering fork uh, kit and uh, they're using the the stock OEM lowers from the forks. I shipped them out to Steady Garage and they did the whole modification. You can buy the kit and do it yourself or you can ship it out to them and pay to have them do it. I did do a fork kit uh, on the R3 and I did that one myself if you wanna watch the video for when I did that. If you wanna have an idea of how it is doing a, a fork kit modification. Um, but uh, yeah, I figured I'd just have Steady Garage do this one and we'll see how it, how it turns out. You okay? I can compress it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I tooted.
So we got the front seal kit, spacer, spring, the fork body, fork tube, the adjustable front fork kit. And I want to use Maxima front fork oil and weight. As you can see, the racing bro front lowering kit, the body is about it has this uh, two and three eighth inch space right here. So that way it allows you to adjust for the height without having to open the internals up or the fork up. So once we loosen the top cap from the fork body, we could actually lift it up. At this point, it would be a good idea to remove the top cap from the, the damper rod. Just move it in and out so that way the the oil can move from the fork shaft out into the body. Usually we hang this upside down for at least 20 minutes. smaller side the small diameter will go in first before you insert it make sure you lube the seal up completely so we need to knock it down below the the snap ring line This is the guide wing, the oil guide. And for the compression side, you have to make sure that the tabs are going downward. So once that's in position, go down and then mod it back onto the device. Depending on your height, just follow the instructions on where to position these POM spacers. And now we're gonna put back the lower cap with the, the washer. Once you see the fork shaft moving, then that means you're you're on point, you're tight. Adjust the rod, back up the, the valve so that way it's all the way back. And now we're just gonna fill it up with fork oil. And make sure the, the height adjuster is all the way out. that it stops and count all the way until it stops so that way you know that the adjuster rod is seated so we're gonna go ahead and uh oh my gosh 
Can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get these, uh, get these in here and it should look pretty good. They're so cute and tiny. <laughs> Hit it with at least 12 Ugga Duggas to make sure it's good and seated. Nope. To torque specifications. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Now it's starting to resemble a motorcycle a little bit. We have, uh, we have a completed motorcycle. It's all done. We're gonna go drive it away now. Yeah. So we got the rear shock in, we got the uh, new triple tree in, and we've got the new uh, Racing Bros kitted out front forks. All this is from Steady to Garage. I'll link all the parts down in the description so you guys can check them out. I'm really happy with some them so far and I, I can't wait until we actually get this bike on the road and we can test all this out. If you wanna see any of the videos uh, that have come out in the series so far or, or any of the other videos that come out after this, I'll have a playlist link down in the description. And again, we're giving this bike away at the end of the series. So if you wanna have a chance to win, every dollar supported over on Patreon gets you an, an entry into winning this bike when we're completed. That link can be found down in the description as well. Thanks as always to my build partner, Fry. Thumbs up, you've made it this far. <laughs> Make sure that you go give him a, a follow over on Instagram. Um, or just and, say my name in the comments. Yeah, just say, say his name in the comments. But that's gonna be it. Uh, if you wanna get any of my merch, you can get it at modernosity.com slash shop. You guys have been awesome. I've been Modernosity. Remember life's better with horsepower. Keep life live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.